Absolutely, ready to move on to that item. Thanks, Mr. Chairman and members of the board. For the next item, um, we have an update related to the proposed school calendar for the 2021-2022 school year. And then we'll be looking for the board to approve a calendar for the 2021-2022 school year. So we'll um, share information and then again, look for um, board to uh, the board to approve um, a calendar for 2021. Well, good afternoon again, Mr. Chairman, members of the board and Dr. Cashwell. I um, am happy to be here to report an update on the 2021-2022 proposed school calendar options. At the last board meeting on May 14th, it was decided that two calendar options would be shared with staff and families to seek to gather their feedback. Um, one option was a pre-Labor Day start and the other option was a post-Labor Day start. On the, the week of May 18th, the two options were posted on our website and a survey was launched. The survey was available in English and in Spanish. And Mr. Jenks and his team used every communication venue to educate and engage our community in the calendar discussion. Mass emails were sent out on May 20th, 28th, and June 2nd, specifically on this topic of the calendar, and it reached all staff and all student households, both in English and Spanish. Um, one e-newsletter article was shared on May 26th, which re was received by all staff and all of our student households. And then there was a news release on May 20th, which again reached all staff and our wide variety of local news and community stakeholders. And the news release was posted on the website. The survey um, was briefly mentioned in the Memorial Day message on May 21st, which again reached all staff and all student households. Um, and in addition, there were 12 social media posts four on Facebook, four on Twitter, and four on Instagram. And the survey was closed on June 3rd with over almost 14,000 responses. So I can tell you that the effort that, that um, Mr. Jenks and his team um, put into the communication of it certainly paid off. As a reminder, the survey tool does not limit the responses to one per IP address. But of the 13,803 responses, 51.4% per or 7,090 respondents um, indicated a preference for option B, a post-Labor Day start, and 48.6% or 6,713 preferring option A, the pre-Labor Day start. To just kind of give you a... a stance at where they were. With almost 14,000 responses, the individual team themes showed on this slide and the next slide only represent at the most 2.5% down to 0.1% of respondents. Um, so I just wanted to put it in perspective. The regional alignment has been a priority for our staff and families. Hanover County ended up delaying their discussion on the 21-22 calendar. Um, but indicate that their community wants to align themselves with Henrico. And Chesterfield County Public Schools adopted a one-week pre-Labor Day start, um, I believe it was last week. With comments about spring testing, um, AP testing does have a fixed test date regardless of the school start date, so an earlier start date provides um, additional instructional time. However, with SOL testing, the division sets the test window, so there would really be no change in the amount of instructional time before or after SOLs. Um, some families indicated that they'd already made their um, vacation plans for the summer of 21, and um, in reference to the starting more than two weeks prior to Labor Day so that we could end before Memorial Day, state law only per permits us to start two weeks prior to Labor Day. And you would have to start obviously more than that to finish up by Memorial Day. Um, in addition, starting, starting one week earlier and potentially starting an additional week earlier the following year, the calendar committee had actually discussed that as an option. Um, and with conversations with staff as well as the committee, the consensus was that it would it would in, 
cause duplicative work over two subsequent years when you go to change all of your um, calendars to shift them one week and then another, which impact payroll dates. And so there was there was additional um, manpower hours and therefore cost associated with doing um, a slow roll from one week to two weeks. Um, there were also a lot of comments that you probably saw from with the entire list of the feedback that there was some confusion with um, some of our folks that responded that indicated they were thinking we were talking about this September rather than September a year from now. Um, but the recommendation from staff is still to adopt a post Labor Day start for the 21-22 school year. So I'm happy to answer any questions. Thank you so much, Dr. Tigan. Um, Mrs. Ogborn. I don't have any questions. I have two comments. Um, and one of them might lead to a question, I'm not sure. But um, I have two concerns, and one of them has to do with our construction of our new schools that are supposed to open in September of 21. I am concerned that if we do start earlier, those uh, facilities of J.R. Tucker in Highland Springs and Holiday may not be ready in time for us to open. Um, it was planned all along that they would open. Um, after Labor Day. So I, I don't know if there's any information to share on that regard, but that's one concern I have. But I'm also concerned that we don't know what this upcoming school year is going to bring. And so I'm hesitant to make a change like this. If we have another pause in learning, we may have to extend this school year. I think we need to give ourselves the most flexibility as possible. So I, while the survey is, I'm so glad we did it, but boy, I wish we had a clearer answer from the, from the community. We couldn't be more evenly split, but those are my, my two concerns that I would raise. Um, if we didn't have three schools opening, I think we'd be having a different discussion, but uh, those are my two main concerns. Yeah. Thank you, Mrs. Ogburn. And I would note that those uh, administration also considered those concerns. And while we're on track with construction now and potentially could um, gain uh, some headway based on students not being um, on the campuses, there is it's too early to forecast <laughs> whether or not we would anticipate an early delivery date with construction. As you know from any other construction project, the number of variables that go into uh, delivering a project on time are immense. Um, and so we wouldn't want to predict um, that it would be ready any earlier than anticipated. And, and certainly the, the other uh, valid concerns you bring up related to the unknown nature of the, the coming school year. Right. Well, and I just, as far as the construction goes, um, I, I just know, like, you can have weather delays. You can have so many things that can go wrong. But, I mean, and I've had people tell me, well, you've advocated before for starting before Labor Day, which I have, um, you know, we had on our legislative agenda for a number of years and we lobbied the General Assembly for this ability to start before, but I don't think we would have anticipated the situation we're in right now. So yeah. that um, I would hope that whatever decision we make, we will very quickly revisit it for the next year. But um, so anyway, I'll bring that up and then I'll turn it over to somebody else. Thank you. Reverend Cooper, who do we go to next? He's frozen. I know. Looks like it. Uh oh. <laughs> see. I'm trying to remember the order, but I don't recall who was. Well, being. I don't usually start. Do we want to keep but... going alphabetically? Do we just want to roll to me and then to Alicia and then Christy? Is that good? That that's what I was going to suggest as well. So. Okay. Um, so Marcy, you, I, I'll I'll take over for a moment for our chair. So Marcy, you go, Mrs. Shea, you go next, and then we'll continue on. All right, thank you, um, and thank you um, to the staff for putting together that survey. That as I requested, uh, you know, even though we ended up with a 50-50 split, I think it was really important to get feedback from our community, and we pushed the timeline back on voting so we could get that. And so I really appreciate the um, team effort that was required in that. Um, you know, from um, my long list of questions on the past couple work sessions about the calendar that I've really put a lot of thought and research into the calendar, as well as um, speaking with various stakeholders involved and um, 
Overall, I will say that I do support a move towards a pre-Labor Day start. However, for school year 21-22, because of the construction timeline consideration and some other things, um, I support the post-Labor Day calendar um, for this particular consideration. Thank you, Mr. Shea. Um, I have heard from Reverend Cooper, for whatever reason, he has lost his connection to our meeting. He is trying to get back in. So I'll continue on with um, Mrs. Atkins next. Thank you, Mrs. Ogburn. I actually share your your response. So I, I agree with you wholeheartedly. When I think about the construction, I support uh, a post Labor Day start. Um, don't have anything else to add to that other than letting everyone know that that's where I reside for that reason. So thank you. Thank you, Mrs. Kinsella. Yes, thank you, Mrs. Ogburn. I. Basically, exactly what Mrs. Atkins just said. Um, I'm post Labor Day due to construction. Being familiar with the uh, delays that we don't currently currently have, but we could uh, encounter. I, I say the more time we have on our projects, uh, the better off we are. So I'm supportive for uh, fall 2021 of a post Labor Day start. Okay, thank you. Is there any more discussion before? I'm trying to delay as much as possible for our chair to get back in um, this meeting. One of the uh, downsides to uh, this kind of uh, situation, but um, but anyway, so we'll keep on going because I have I do not have a message from him. He's obviously trying to get back in. I don't know how Reverend Cooper feels on this, but we're going to go ahead because we still have a quorum and we can still go ahead with our meeting. Um, so I will entertain a motion to, uh, the superintendent has rec made a recommendation that, and I'm going to look at, uh, that we receive an update, but approve the 2021, 21, 22 calendar with a post Labor Day start. Do I have a motion to that effect? So moved. Moved by Mrs. Shea. Is there a second? Second. Second by Mrs. Atkins. All in favor say aye. Oh, we have to do roll call. Oh, I, we will. I, I'm sorry. When I do this for the governor's school, we do the eyes and the nays, and then we roll call. All right. Um, so we'll do roll call. Mrs. Uh, Mrs. Atkins, you go first. Aye. Mrs. Kinsella. Aye. Mrs. Shea. Aye. And I vote aye as well. The ayes have it. The motion is carried, and um, we will proceed on with the agenda. Thank you. Having reached a decision on the calendar item, that brings us to the next item, 